What's going on everybody? My name is Ari on Instagram and on YouTube as Nothing New Thrifts. On this channel, I'm uh, basically documenting my process as a full-time reseller. I'm going into my second year uh, as a full-time reseller and it's going great. Um, sales have been going great and that's why I wanted to make a, a quick what sold video for you guys today. This is going to be what sold for um, April 2022. Uh, let's get right into it. All right, before we get into the individual sales, let's go over like overall sales and see how we're doing, um, see how the month went. So for April, um, again, April 2022, we closed out the month with $9,628 in sales um, for a total of 360 orders. Not bad at all. I think the month before we were um, we were around 8,500. So, you know, a solid, solid little growth there. Um, definitely excited to see the growth continue uh, month over month. All right, so for today's what sold video, I wanted to do it a little different. I'm gonna grab the top five sales from the top five categories that I sold in this month. All right, so the five categories are gonna be in order, t-shirts, casual button down shirts, shorts, swimwear, and then hats. So I'm gonna pick the top five sales in each category and those are the ones that we're gonna highlight today. And then um, honestly, I think the top five sales of the month overall didn't fall in any of these categories. So at the end of the video, um, I'll show the best five sales of the month period, um, regardless of category. All right, let's get into it. All right, so for each category, we'll start at the bottom and we will work our way up to the best sale in that category. So starting with the t-shirts, First sale was a great sale. It was this uh, Vori brand uh, black t-shirt, classic logo on the back. Um, yeah, Vori, Vori. It's a very, very strong, uh, strong brand to resell. Uh, it was listed for a couple days. I think we paid two to three dollars at a thrift store. Sold for full price. I believe it was $29.95 um, minus our 10% off coupon. All right, moving on up. Next shirt. So the next, um, the next item is actually going to be a bundle item. Um, we picked up two of these T-shirts, same exact T-shirt, same design. It was a Crazy Shirts Hawaii T-shirt um, with a cool like parrot graphic on the back. I didn't think anything crazy of it. Usually we list them for around fifteen twenty bucks depending on the graphic. Um, again, we picked up two of them. They both sold. Sold for a total of twenty five plus shipping on each. Next item, um, this is a really nice item, Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift is hot. We picked up, I think, three or four different t-shirts and they all um, they all sold already. I think we might have one left, but I think, I think they all sold. Anyways, this was a 2017 Reputation Stadium Tour t-shirt. Um, 2017, yeah. Sold for $49.45 plus shipping. The next item, uh, the next t-shirt up, this is a really nice t-shirt. Uh, I wish it was my size, would have kept it. Um, this was a vintage Guess black on black embroidered t-shirt. Um, it was like one size fits all or one size made in USA. It was like a extra large 2X, 2XL, um, single stitch all around. I think we had it listed for around $70. Um, and that was just me kind of throwing that price out there. Um, not a lot to go on, on something like this on, uh, on eBay at least. Anyways. Somebody paid full price minus the 10% uh, off coupon that we have on our store. So they paid $62.95. This was an international sale. I think it was going to Japan. Next item, and I think this was the highest, yeah, the highest selling item on the t-shirt list. Um, same thing, I think sold for full price. I don't remember if it was like $75. We can do the math, I think around $75. Um, and they, they just used the 10% off coupon. Um, this was the 1988 New York uh, Broadway musical play Aspects of Love t-shirt. Um, awesome t-shirt, single stitch all around. The logo was really cool. It was one of those like double graphics where there's two things like in the same graphic. Um, yeah, I'll zoom in so you guys can check it out. But yeah, that was the, uh, the most expensive t-shirt that we sold in April. And uh, let's move on to the next category. All right, we're uh, moving on to the next category. But before we do that, I do want to say, um, I love talking about like the details on the sales. There's like so many different details. Hey, little sale. Um, so many different details that we can get into. So if there's any details that I'm leaving out that you're interested in, um, just drop a comment, drop a comment or shoot us a message and we'll reply or maybe we can try to include it on the next video <clears throat> if the information is helpful to you guys. Um, all right, so let's go, let's, let's, let's get it going. So casual button down shirts, first item here, um, honestly, we sell a lot of Tommy Bahama, Tommy Bahama on the low end side, um, 15 to 20 bucks, but like five or like, yeah, like five out of our top 10 button up sales were Tommy Bahama. Um, let's go. First one was this very nice, um, look out for Tommy Bahamas if they have a big embroidery on the back. This was a Tommy Bahama United in the Sand embroidered um, silk shirt. 
honestly awesome embroidery black t-shirt extra large 100 silk um yeah 30 bucks next item here um easy call definitely this is why uh, this is off of a fresh rack at goodwill um and this is why I recommend checking out different Goodwills. Some Goodwills will separate every single thing. Some Goodwills will separate nothing. You have to like check them all out. They could be like two blocks away from each other and kind of like have different practices. So definitely check them all out. Anyways, this was just at a Goodwill. I think we paid six bucks for this. Um, Neela Tags, uh, Quicksilver Flannel, sold for $30 plus ship. <clears throat> Oof, this one was nice. This was a Rain Spooner collab with uh, Art of Eddie Y. You know, I'm not sure who that is, and usually when I, like, find cool stuff like this, uh, and the art is interesting, or I, like, learn a new artist's name, I'll do a little research so I can learn about who this person is. Um, so I'm gonna look up Eddie Y, because this was a dope shirt. Um, I think we listed it for $40, got an offer for, like, 35 the same day we listed it, except that offer, keep it moving. Here we go, more Tommy Bahama. So the next um, the next item is gonna be um, another Tommy Bahama shirt. It's the new with tags. Cayman Camp shirt, 100% um, silk, dark brown, $100 on the retail tag. We listed it for, I think, half of that price, and it sold right away. $50. All right, and the top sale in the button-up category is actually another one of these amazing um, Jams World Hawaiian shirts. We picked these up in an older video um, that we did. I think we picked up 12 of them. Um, we paid around... 15 to 20 dollars a piece on them um and we've just been selling through them been selling them for around 70 to 100 dollars. all right and that was that for the button up category all right so we're moving into our third best category um our shorts so let's get right into it first sale on the shorts starting at the bottom again is going to be these nice uh quicksilver corduroy shorts um, these shorts can actually go from twenty to fifty dollars, um, possibly even more if you have some like vintage ones. So definitely look out for these uh, corduroy quicksilver shorts. Corduroy anything, almost not anything, but corduroy is um, is good. Next item, again, this was a um, just a pull off of a off of a fresh rack at a at a Goodwill or Salvation Army or something. Um, paid five bucks for them, sold for twenty four twenty five. Sounds like they used a little coupon on that. Um, or maybe we accepted an offer. I think we accepted an offer on that. Twenty four, twenty five on these Vans burgundy chino shorts, new with tags, size thirty two. Um, quick little detail on that. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tip. These shorts had a little like, not a stain, but like a little mark on the bottom, um, and we were kind of deciding what should we do because they're new with tags, but they're kind of dirty. Do we sell them new with tags and say they're dirty, or do we clip the tags off and uh, wash them and then sell them as lightly used? Uh, we had a third idea. The third idea. We actually grabbed the shorts and we just, in the sink with a little bit of soap, just, you know, scrub the part that was dirty, let them air dry, and they cleaned up perfectly, um, brand, literally perfectly. So, uh, listed brand new, sold. Good little tip right there for you guys. Next item is going to be the third item. Yeah, the third item on our shorts category is actually a combination of just four pairs of shorts, just because um, it's all basically the same thing. If you guys remember, we had that Lululemon haul. Um, I'm guessing it, it was in April because all of these sold in April and they sold quickly. So we had, I think we picked up like 10 pairs of Lululemon and this is just a screenshot I grabbed of four of the shorts that sold right away. Um, they sold for around $30 a pair, positive feedback on most of them already. Um, yeah, awesome little find there. We paid $5 a piece for all those, uh, Lululemon. Next item, um, this was another little bolo for you guys. Um, UFC stuff, some of it can do pretty well. Um, this is a UFC Reebok, like official fight shorts. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the, the comps on eBay were a little high. They were a little weak as far as like numbers, but they were high as far as like value. Um, I think we got this for five bucks listed for 50 and I think we ended up selling for 37 95, uh, black and white size, uh, 36 Reebok UFC shorts. And then for the best shorts sale that we had in April is going to be these nice, um, a Goldie. Parker style cut off blue jean shorts, um, waist size 30. Yeah, a Goldie is a strong brand. Um, not every single item, obviously, you know, still look it up when you find it. But a Goldie is is definitely, you know, they have some some strong items in their in their in their brand that you can pick up to resell. Um, yeah, and that was our best short sale. We um, sold those for thirty five dollars plus shipping. That was our number one or our highest short sale uh, for the month of April. 
All right, so moving on to our fourth category, it's actually going to be swimwear. And believe it or not, we are actually ranked number 26 out of like 31,000 sellers in the swimwear category. Um, I don't know. We don't sell that much swimwear, so that's kind of weak. Um, but yeah, ranked number 26 in, uh, in swimwear, apparently, according to our listings quality report. Uh, we'll pull it up right here so you guys can check it out. All right, so starting at the bottom of the list again, um, let's get going with the first pair of swimwear that we sold. Um, this was a RVCA Ruka brand, gray, like all over logo print shorts, um, board shorts. We sold them for $21.55. Looks like they used a little coupon on those, or maybe we accepted an offer. Um, we're accepting offers all day. Um, anyways, Ruka is apparently like pretty hot. We see it in our area all the time, so we didn't really think too much of it, um, but we did pick up a couple like nicer pieces to try out and they've sold fast. Um, we can find this at basically any thrift store in our area, so we're definitely gonna be um, milking that a little bit. But yeah, RBCA, Ruka, if you have it in your area, check it out. Next item, um, again, just another fresh rack pull here. Billabong Recycler uh, board shorts, brand new, size 32. Um, we accepted an offer on those. I think they sold like the same morning we listed for $23 plus ship. Oh, this next item was beautiful. Um, just a fun, actually here, I, this is a good example. Um, and I mean, I could post this, these examples all day long. Uh, basically the item was canceled once. You know what? This isn't even, this, I'm missing one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. This item was ordered and returned. We relisted it. It was ordered and then canceled. And then we relisted it. And then third time's a charm. It finally sold. Um, and that buyer kept them sold for $25. Um, plus shipping, but yeah, I mean, no time wasted on the return, no time wasted on anything, just relist, boom, 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 you know, a couple taps on the screen, 10 seconds later, your listing is live again, don't waste time crying about returns or canceled orders or anything like that, um, relist them, keep it moving. Next item on the swimwear category, we're moving our way up, um, I don't know if these were necessarily swimwear, um, I call them swimwear, Patagonia baggies. Um, Patagonia baggies, they felt like unlined, um, what is it what I called them? Unlined swim trunks, board shorts, um, men's size large, listed for $30. They sold the same day we listed them. Um, again, they used our 10% off coupon, paid $26.95. All right, and our top selling um, item in the swimwear category was this pair of Quicksilver board shorts. These were a special edition um, in memory of Eddie Aikau. Um, yeah, this is actually um, a really cool pair of shorts. That was the top selling short in our shorts category. Pretty cool, $26.95 on the Quicksilver shorts. On to the next category. Last category in our um, top five categories, uh, it's gonna be hats. Hats was our lowest category of the month, which goes up and down. We've had we've had months where the hats is, um, where our hats are like our number one category. And I just think it, it just depends on what we can get our hands on more. We love selling um, hats, we love selling t-shirts, and we love selling shorts. Super easy to deal with, smaller items. Um, yeah, those are like our, our bread and butter. Anyways, um, Hat sales, here we go. First one is gonna be this Polo Ralph Lauren um, 2017 US Open uh, Big Pony logo as a tennis hat. We sold for $18.95 plus shipping. Next item was this Disney Parks uh, Haunted Mansion black hat. It said Ghost Host on the front. Um, yeah, $18.95 plus shipping on that. Next item was this Nike Dry Fit Aerobill Tailwind Elite Black Running Hat Cap. Um, yeah, just a nice black Nike hat, um, running hat, sold for $19.75 plus shipping. Um, not all of these are built the same. These are like very specific. I think this is one of the good ones, the Aerobill Tailwind. Um, they have like, again, a couple different versions of these Nike hats that look very similar. Some can go for a lot of money and some are worth around 20 bucks and even less um but definitely check them out there's a stab cut on them that you can check to um see what you're see what you're holding next item here um yeah this is um i think one of our like subcategories that we do a lot of um we sell a lot of college stuff um hats t-shirts hoodies yeah, hats, t-shirts, hoodies. That's probably what we sell most of as far as college stuff. This is a brand new Pomona College uh, navy blue hat. Sold for $20 plus shipping. And the last item in our hat category, I believe we had it listed for $25. Looks like they used a 10% coupon. Um, sold for $22.45. That was a vintage um, Bob's Big Boy black and red uh, strap back hat. 
Really nice hat, um, cool embroidery on the front. Yeah, sold for $22.45 plus ship. All right, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you definitely um, sticking around. appreciate you watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, saw something interesting, definitely drop a, uh, drop a comment, leave us a like. Um, it helps us a lot and we appreciate it. All right, let's get into the top five sales of the month. Um, five pretty crazy sales, five like eBay bolos that I would you know recommend anybody look out for. Um, all right, let's get right into it, okay? First, um, again, we're going to start at the bottom and finish at the top. First item was were these pants. We picked these up at the swap meet. Um, I think we paid ten dollars for these. These were Ralph Lauren um, men's Varick Slim Straight blue jeans. So nothing really stood out about them. They were like Ralph Lauren. I've picked up this this style before, the Varick Slim Straight. I know they can sell for around like thirty dollars. Um, anyways, these were cool. They were they had the patches on them, which usually gives like Ralph Lauren stuff a lot more value picked them up um if you look closely at the patches which i didn't do at first it actually says like fine sportsman apparel um fishing and outdoor gear ralph lauren outdoor division anyways that like sportsman stuff in the ralph lauren line like people eat that up um it's 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 sought after so yeah we listed these high and we ended up selling for 72 dollars plus shipping um not a bad flip there sold quickly too oof this one was beautiful um peter millar crown sport stretch golf polo shirt um these like exact specific line of peter millar shirts have like a hundred percent sell through rate um i don't remember the pre-owned this was a brand new that i was looking at because this shirt was brand new i paid twenty dollars for this shirt at a marshall's um i wish they had 10 more of them um anyways this wasn't even like i mean i i don't think it was like a, a great print as far as like the peter millar prints go um it was like this kind of um random guitars all over print uh, anyways, sold for seventy nine ninety um, plus shipping. Again, we paid twenty bucks. Solid little uh, flip there. This next item is our second or third time finding this brand. Definitely be on the lookout for this brand. Um, cycling gear in general. Um, my buddy on YouTube, Big Yumbo, check him out. He um, he you know he let us know or he he was the one that kind of put us onto cycling gear early on. It's expensive, so check it out. If you see some cycling gear um, that you can get for for a good price, it's worth looking up. Um, you know, do a little research, see if you're holding onto a gem. Um, this right here, the first time we found anything, it was like a hundred and eighty dollar um, cycling jersey that was like this, like thin, like like half a pound, like little nothing. Um, and yeah, we looked it up, sold like super high end, um, and we sold that fast and sold for like full price. Um, anyways, this was a similar situation. I think we paid a dollar for this. This was like at a at a uh, at a pile at the swap meet. Um, we almost moved past it because it was so like thin and lightweight. Saw the tag, got excited, um, and then came home to find out it was even you know even even better than we thought. Seventy nine fifty on that Rafa gray uh, Pro Team Two jersey, men's medium in excellent used condition couple more items here two more two more all right next item was another um another marshall's pickup and these actually were not um not very high profit items um but they were just they were good flips again at marshall's if you get lucky you can get multiples and that's kind of where um where the trick is right so i picked up i think i picked up like four of these sweaters uh, we might have one left or they might have all sold already anyways we sold two um we sold two it's a couple days apart we sold two in april for around forty dollars a piece, forty and forty-four, so eighty-four dollars total on the two. I think we paid twenty bucks a piece on them. Um, so yeah, forty dollars into them, sold for eighty-five plus shipping. Um, not bad, not bad. Last sale of the month, um, or last biggest sale, last sale of the video. This one was actually pretty insane, pretty profitable pretty interesting it was uh it was everything everything you like to see in a in a big ebay sale um we found this vintage like y2 vintage or like early thousands um sean john tracksuit it was made out of this like velour material which is this like really soft kind of suede feeling fleece kind of feeling material um anyways i found this top at the swap meet and um it just felt nice it was a huge size or it was like extra large but if it looked big i was excited um i looked them up and I saw that the tops were selling for like one fifty to like maybe two hundred dollars, uh, or like one to two hundred dollars. It's so like all right, cool. It was on a two dollar pile table. So I grab the jacket. I'm walking out, and the lady looks at me and she's like, "Oh, like no, 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 no. 
if you're buying the jacket, like you have to take the pants too. Ha, <laughs> I, was, I was stoked. She said that there was pants in the pile. I just had to um, pull them out, went straight back to the pile and they were literally kind of just right there. Boom, pulled the pants out, matching pants, um, matching set. She wanted four bucks for it, two and two. Um, yeah, paid the lady, went on home. This bundle can sell on eBay from like two to $400, depending like what you have. I don't know why. Um, I assume people are not wearing these. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're, they're collectible or maybe people are wearing them. Um, let me know if you guys know what makes these um, so sought after. Anyways, $4 invested into this vintage Sean John olive green velour track suit set, jacket and pants, size extra large. $4 invested. $269.95 on the sale, um, plus shipping. Doesn't get, uh, doesn't get much better than that right there. All right, so that was 25 of our best eBay sales from April. Um, honestly, we're pushing close to like 400 sales a month now. So it's like, I have to like figure out how to do these what's sold videos, like which items we're gonna feature. Um, I kind of want to do like a low end one, maybe show you guys like the items that we're selling from like 10 to 15 or 10 to $20. Um, yeah, if you guys have, um, if there's anything like specific you guys are interested in as far as like what sold videos, let me know. Maybe we can start cranking out more than one a month. We can do, um, we, we can do two or three a month. Um, again, that way we can showcase like whatever is going to be more helpful to everyone that's looking for these what's sold videos. Um, I know we're all just trying to pick up like tips off of each other and see what's selling for other people. So I'm like more than happy to put out this content. Um, the sales are booming. We're averaging 10 to 15 sales a day. Honestly, more like 15. Um, but that's only because we're listing. We're listing consistently. We haven't missed a day in I don't know how long. Um, 20 up a day. We've only been doing 20 for like two or three months. And I think like eBay's barely catching up to that. We were doing 10 a day and then we jumped to 15 and then we jumped to 20. Um, we did that jump in like a two week span just cause I was ready to jump to 20 already. Um, anyways, it's only been a, like a month or two and the eBay's like, boom, pushing back hard. Um, we're excited. I wanna bump that number up again to like 25, but I'm not gonna bump that number up until I can put at least 100 listings in my draft bank. Um, because I haven't been able to do that. And that's my big goal. That's my big challenge. Um, you know, we get excited about these sales and, you know, people want to know what's sold, what's sold. Um, I get excited about the listing part, uh, list the items. You're not going to sell it if it doesn't get listed. We need to list the items. Um, we need to lower our prices a little bit, you know, don't, don't try to get every single dollar for your item that you got like a steal on. If you got it for, you know, for a buck, you got it for two, you got it for five and it's worth a hundred. You know, I don't think you need to wait a whole year to finally wait for that like, person to come around and, and give you a hundred bucks for it. If somebody offers you 75, 80 bucks on a quick flip, um, man, flip that item, flip that item, reinvest it, buy more items, flip those items, reinvest them, buy more items. Um, we just keep flipping, all right? Um, anyways, I don't want to ramble. I don't want to rant. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, again, shoot it in the comments. Um, shoot us a DM on Instagram at nothing new thrifts on YouTube and on Instagram. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit us with a like, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.